right here at the beginning of our graveyard walk. My friends, today we have chosen to become pilgrims, making a transformative journey into a sacred space. The experience of the pilgrim and actually walking in the way of others enables them to become a participant in what has happened in the past. The pilgrim becomes one with all those who have made the journey before. Let us go forward on the path laid out for us by those who established our heritage. Lord, we have come on this pilgrimage of prayer to keep the flame of love alive in our hearts. With reverence, we visit this shrine where this body has been placed within the room of the earth to await the Father's name of the glory. We rejoice because these names have been written for all ages in the palm of your divine hand. May the breath of saw at some distance the little cross on the church of St. Martin, in which we understood had been the first cross to be erected in the state of Ohio. It had been the first on the Cathedral of Cincinnati. The site caused us joy so great that I could hardly describe it. Down sat the weary travelers to meet their bucks in the grassy spot in the open. Uh, 
I was a little concerned about whether uh, this was really possible. But when you uh, get inside there, you'll see that uh, many, many people have, have done a fabulous job to bring this, this uh, building back to life. And uh, our fund, as you'll see listed up here, uh, both uh, who have donated money and, and uh, other uh, building materials, furniture, uh, have made this uh, this building uh, just a fabulous uh, completed project. So we thank all of them for everything they've done. Uh, and we especially thank all the people that have uh, have worked so hard on this. John Farrow, his whole staff, uh, many, many volunteers. Uh, I was lucky enough to be out here one day and, and uh, got in the way a little bit, but uh, many, many hours have, have gone into this project. Uh, Chatfield College doesn't have the money to, to uh, uh, pay for all the work that was done, so we had to beg, borrow, and steal, and, and uh, John was able to do that. <laughs> <laughs> so, this, this is a fabulous uh, project. We're uh, thrilled to add this building to, to the rest of the building on this historic campus. Uh, I just wanted to uh, note Father Benedict is going to uh, is gonna bless the building and, and concentrate it here in a minute. But uh, Father is going to be installed tomorrow as the rector of Mount St. Mary's Seminary. And the, uh, the, uh, the interesting uh, thing about that is, uh, as many of you know, Mount St. Mary's Seminary used to be located on, each, on this property, actually right here behind us. So uh, we have a, a, uh, a connection to the seminary that it goes back uh, 150 years. Now Father's here continuing uh, that connection. So again, I thank you all for being here. I'm going to turn it over to the Lucha, the Constitutional Minister, to bring us uh, all the weather. <laughs> a worthy structure to carry out the mission of Chatfield College, which is to empower students who might best succeed within our supportive small college experience. May the bricks and wood that comprise this structure, built in 1861, support the core values of creating a community of prayer <coughs> and faith that models excellence in lifelong learning and promotes reverence and esteem in a supportive manner. May the rooms and the halls of this building which have sheltered Bishop Purcell and priests from this archdiocese, Ursuline sisters, boarding school students, campers, retreatants, and special needs persons now shelter the activities and decisions that will further the education, life skills, and spiritual development of our students, administration, faculty, and staff. Bless all who enter here with your love and presence. <coughs> and we ask this in the name of Jesus Christ, your 
your son and our brother. Amen. 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 <clears throat> Placing ourselves in the presence of our loving God. When Christ took flesh through the Blessed Virgin Mary, he made his home with us. Let us now pray that our God, Father, Son, and Spirit, will enter this building and bless it with his presence. May God always be here, working within and among us. May God nurture our love and respect for our students, benefactors, and co-workers. Inspired by the hospitality of St. Angela Marici, may this building be a dwelling where faith is nurtured, love is practiced, and the mission of Chatfield College is evident in all our decisions. blessing of this building with water from Lake Garden in Angela Marici's homeland, blessed and mingled with water from this property, protect our comings and goings. Let us share the hospitality of this building with all who visit, and may those who enter here know your love and protection. We ask this through the intercession of St. Angela, Julian Chatfield, and the Ursulines who have gone before us, and in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. 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 Yeah, 
I have already done. Good. Yeah. You got board members hiding among yeah. the crowd. <laughs>